On August 14th of 2017, our rooftop solar panels went live. This is the culmination of hundreds of hours and months of labor on my part, so I was very excited. It had taken me that long to learn the industry, design my system, buy the equipment, get it installed, get it inspected, and then finally our electric utility sent out uh, an employee to swap out the meter on the side of our house and we were able to energize our system finally. So August 15th was our first full day of production. Today is after dark on the 14th of 2020, so it's exactly three years later. And I wanted to go over our system and show what the power production looks like now, three years later. Now looking here on the screen, you can see the panels here on the right side are a lighter blue. These are 22 290 watt polycrystalline panels and these amount to 6.38 kilowatts total and they are the panels that I installed initially back in 2017. Over here on the left side we have 300 watt monocrystalline panels uh, and there's 12 of them which I installed in July of 2019. So the numbers I'm going to be showing you are cumulative across this whole system but what we can see here is these panels and what they have produced as a, an individual panel over its lifespan. So these lighter panels are lighter because they've produced more electricity over their total lifespan. And they vary from 1.52 megawatt hours for one panel uh, to as low as it looks like 1.47. If I zoom out just here a little bit, uh, we can see, uh, yeah, these are about the same as the others. So over here on the left side, we can see that they've produced about a third as much. That makes sense, just over uh, you know, half of a megawatt hour. And so let's jump over here to the dashboard and I'll show you some of these figures. So the lifetime energy for this combined system over three years is 38.36 megawatt hours. Here in Utah where we live, our average rate for electricity is 10.9 cents per kilowatt hour. And so multiplying that out, that becomes $4,179 over three years time. Now, looking at some figures relating to our system and the costs to install the system, uh, the, the cumulative total to install our system was $9,755, and that's after tax rebates for both systems. At the rate that electricity is being produced right now with our 9.98 .9 kilowatt array, uh, we will break even in 5.42 years. So there's a couple of different ways that you can look at break-even points. You can look at the, you know, the value of the production, which is what I just did. You could also look at what you've been consuming. The, the way our net metering balance works is it's use it or lose it. And we pay $9 a month to our utility and they are basically our battery and they just take the energy and then we take it back uh, whenever we need to use it. And there's no cost to us. It's just a flat fee. And so we have found that we typically use up most of the electricity. I've probably only left about a total of 400 kilowatt hours on the table, so to speak, over those years because they reset it every March every year and I generally have just a little bit left just to give myself a buffer so I don't actually have to pay for any electricity. Now this might seem to some people like a lot of electricity and it actually is quite more, uh, quite a bit more than what we consumed prior to going solar and you know, when we paid for the electricity. But what I've done, and the reason why I expanded the array is because we've purchased electric vehicles. So I bought a 2015 Tesla Model S, for instance, uh, in May of 2019. And if you're interested in seeing a video of how that CPO buying experience went, buying it directly from Tesla, you can click here on this card that will pop out, and that's a video I made about that experience. And then in February of 2018, we received our tax return for uh, the re rebate of our installation in 2017 of the first system. And I used all that money to go buy a uh, 2013 Nissan Leaf. And that's what I've been commuting to work in. And uh, so we have these two electric cars and they are a very big source of electrical consumption. Uh, there are some other things that we do uh, that we didn't used to do. Uh, we actually have a cooler house now. We, we just you know run the air conditioning more because we can. Um, and we have a freeze dryer that we use that uses a lot more electricity and some other things like that. Um, I have found that it's very liberating having this electricity kind of feels like it's free just coming from the sun. We are still technically breaking even and that's why I'm pointing these numbers out, but it's prepaid for is one way you could think about, about it. But the moment we do break even, you can be sure that, I, you know, it's super liberating at that point. I'm still going to be receiving the same amount of electricity as I was before, you know, with the variance of weather. Um, but it will be fully free at that point because we will have already broken even and it should last for another at least 25 years, if not more. 
So let's look at these numbers down here a little bit. This is what a typical day looks like here in August. That's not uh, what I'm really here to show you because I'm trying to show you big picture numbers. Um, here's a, a week, a, a typical sunny week. And uh, the, the month of August so far, we were averaging about 60 kilowatt hours. Uh, let's look over here at the year. So in the August, we're in mid-August right now and we're in 2020. So we've produced about 10 megawatt hours this year so far. Uh, we can jump down here to 2019 and we can see that the months were producing this much electricity per month on the 6.38 kilowatt array. And then here in July, right at the end of the month is when I expanded the array on the 28th. And so that's why this production jumped up dramatically because that's how much power we were now getting with the expanded array. If we go down to 2018, this was the only year that we have so far that is an uninterrupted year where it's the complete year with the same size of array throughout the year. And uh, so this is what a year's worth of production looks like. So we typically produce um, or, or max out our production in June. Uh, but this year it looks like it will be actually in July as you probably saw here on this graph. So it, it varies a bit. And that variance is actually a little bit easier to see down here in this comparative energy chart. Um, these numbers are still a little bit hard to look at because of the, the array changing its size. Uh, but if you look down at these numbers, you can see where these graphs, like this red and this, uh, this yellowish orange color, uh, they vary a little bit from month to month and from year, year over year on the same month with the same size of system. And then these other taller uh, colors pop up because of the array expansion. So that's really everything that I, I wanted to show you today. I just wanted to kind of give a, an update on three years after having gone live with the system and showing what the total production is at this point. And we're looking to break even in about four, uh, about five and a half years. And uh, I know not everyone can DIY a system and, and that's understandable. Uh, a lot of solar installers out there, they're still overpriced in my opinion, especially on the labor side. Uh, I think Tesla is actually getting to the point where they are very compelling. They are doing some group discounts too in, in regions like here in Utah, uh, and they're getting down close to the point where if I had to do it over again, I would actually just pay them to do it rather than all the labor it took me to do it myself. Um, so if you're interested in having Tesla install solar on your roof, uh, my uh, referral code is down in the description below this video. And if you use my referral code, you will get uh, $100 off of the installation. If you have any questions or comments about solar, feel free to post them in the comments down below. And thanks for watching. So you can see here that we had a water balloon party. And it was fun. So, and uh, I'll see you in the next video.